Good day, my people. So the long-awaited PDP National Convention, a be a executive convention because this one not before all quick quick PDP people. The likes of Wiki, the likes of uh, Fubara, the likes of Ademola, Deliki, uh, uh, the likes of Atiku Abubaka, and other top top big big people for PDP. Now them really attend this one, and even the gov former governor of River State. Yes, on we can will now be FCT minister self attend this particular meeting. Well, you know, no answer they do. I'm not, they always bring on the highlight for those of you now. We follow through the title. Come here, yeah, take time, watch this video. No com comment section, come they badge me when you know watch the video. Reach maybe 10 minutes because this video now 28 minutes and the action this somewhere between 10 to, 15, to 10 to 15 minutes of the video so take your time watch them enjoy and don't forget to subscribe tonight our agreed member especially the daughter fell out during the last primary and also election it's better later than ever we must add an item or must as urgent as possible to position and strengthen the party for effective and constructive opposition, bringing on the table acceptable alternatives of policies and programs in the governance of our dear nation. We must also, as a matter of necessity, bring the concerns of Nigerians to the forefront of the political discourse. We must also understand that Nigerians are in love with our party and they see this party as their former home. They are anxiously looking up to us to bring sorrow and relief to their long APC opposition. Their funds to the long APC opposition. I want to conclude
on behalf of the Board of Trustees address the 98th National Executive Cup Committee, next meeting of our great party, the People's Democratic Party. As custodians of our party's values and principles, it is incumbent upon us to address the crises that have arisen from the recent challenges surrounding the leadership and actions of the National Movement Committee. The widespread public interest in the affairs of our party is a strong pointer to the confidence Nigerians repose in the people as their only hope in the face of escalating insecurity, bloodletting, fighting economic hardship, infrastructural decay, and pervasive mystery occasion by the horror is government of the heavily corrupt and insensitive all progressive all progressive Congress, APC administration, spanning nine years. We cannot ignore the fact that our party is facing internal strife fueled by inactions, disagreements, and misunderstandings that threaten to undermine the very foundation upon which the BDB stands. The recent events have brought to light the urgent need for reconciliation, unity, and collective action to steer our party back on course. It is in times like this that the true strength of our party is tested as the highest decision-making body within the BDP, I implore each and every one of us to rise to the occasion and fulfill our responsibility to the millions of Nigerians who look onto us for leadership and guidance. The leaders of our party, it is clear that the hope of Nigerians for rescue from this emerging totalitarian realism is anchored of their belief in the capacity of our party to lead the charge in defending and protecting our national patrimony at this critical time. Therefore, I am calling upon esteemed members of the National Executive Council to step forward and take on the crucial role of mediator in resolving the crisis that has engulfed our past. It is imperative that we set aside personal differences and work and work together in the spirit of fraternity and solidarity to find common ground and chart a solid path forward. To further strengthen our party, we must go along the line of the three R's of reconciliation, repositioning, and um, restructuring. We must remember that the PDP is more than just a political organization. It is a movement driven by the aspirations and hopes of the Nigerian people. We owe it to them to demonstrate unity and resolve in the face of adversity. Let us not allow the actions of a few to overshadow the collective vision that unites us all. As advocates of democracy, we must uphold the principles of transparency, accountability, and inclusivity in all our endeavors. The process of mediation must be conducted with utmost fairness and impartiality, ensuring that every voice is heard and every perspective is taken into consideration. Our contributions and decisions at this meeting 
must therefore be guided by the dictates of the constitution of our great party and the vision of our founding fathers and mothers so that we can come out stronger and more united in the, for the task ahead. In conclusion, let us heed the call of history and rise above the challenges that confront us today. Together we can overcome the obstacles that lie in our path and emerge stronger and more united than ever before. The future of our party and the destiny of our nation depend on the collective actions in this critical moment. I have every confidence in the wisdom and integrity of the members of the National Executive Council to rise to this occasion and lead our party to greater PDP, PDP, all the people. Thank you very much, Chairman of the Trustees. We now want to hear the voice of the Senate. I invite the Senate Minority Leader, Senator Comrade Abamor. The acting chairman of our great party and other members of the National Working Committee, the chairman of the DOT, the members of the DOT, the former Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the candidate, presidential candidate of the PDP in the 2023 presidential election, the Excellency Tiku Mulata, former Vice President, our own architect, Amadi Sambu, Secretary of the Board of Trustees, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I crave your indulgence to permit me to establish uh, obey the well established uh, protocol. Let me, from the Senate, welcome all of us to this 98th National Executive Council meeting, our great party. The People's Democratic Party. PDP! It is heartwarming that we are all gathered here today after a long spell, especially against the backdrop of the conduct, the virtual outcome of the 2023 general elections. You will recall. But since the election, there have been great expectations of activities of our great party, especially the possibility of rearranging ourselves to confront challenges of managing our party and managing our subsequent elections. And so today, I think it's that the thing come true that we are meeting today at the level of the National Executive Council. Since yesterday, a series of engagements have taken place, a series of meetings have taken place, and the outcome, especially the atmosphere of conviviality that we are witnessing today, is a demonstration of the belief and conclusion that the People's Democratic Party always has a mechanism for resolving any possible or imaginary internal strife. There is no doubt that in recent times, a few things and activities of the party taking place and expected to take place have filled the public speech in public discussions. And it will look like a magnum will fall or let loose 
that today we are all here as members of one family, believing in ourselves and our capacity to manage ourselves, to resolve ourselves, to make sacrifices for the interest of Nigeria and of course the interest of the organization PDP that is expected to lead Nigeria to a more uh, favorable situation than we find ourselves now. And so uh, the Senate and all the governors have been involved in all the series of engagements yesterday. And that the outcome of some of the engagements that we had yesterday is the reason why all of us are here like this, believing in ourselves as one family. And so we want to thank the NWC, we want to thank the DOT, we want to thank the national purpose of the party that able by our demonstration and possible outcome of uh, the end of this meeting today that we have been able to uh, disappoint uh, the progress of doom who think that there will be an explosion out of the occasion that we have had to, to today. Uh, we thank God for everything. That shows that, uh, as we always say, that God is in Nigeria uh, because PTP remains the only alternative and hope for the Nigerian people. And so on our part, as members of this uh, great party that has given us opportunities, we pledge our own preaching loyalty and support for the party and the leaders of the party and together we will work towards fulfilling the activities of the party that I'm sure the NWC will soon present to this body for approval. And when that is done, I can assure you that PDP will work from strength to strength and by 2027, by the grace of God, Nigeria a better song to sing as far as good governance is concerned. Thank you very much and God bless. We invite uh, employees of House of Representatives, right on our agenda, please. PDP, power to the people. I dear, our national chairman, your excellencies, our leaders, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I bring you fraternal greetings from your representatives in the House of Representatives of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We want to assure you, our leaders, that those who fly your flag in the House of Representatives are intact. We are solidly behind this political party. We will do everything to ensure that you will be proud when you hear of the House of Representatives purpose. Having said that, rising from our meeting of yesterday, we would want to remind us a little bit of our history. We have been at the helm of affairs in this country for about 16 years. And if you recall, within that period, Nigeria was said to be the fastest growing economy in Africa. When we lost out, within the past seven years, Nigeria is the poverty capital of the world. You will also recall that within the 16 years that the PDP was in power, we could traverse from the east to the north, south, to the West without fear. That was when we had good morning protocols, good night protocols, and good morning Lagos. People traveled without fear of being molested. But within the past six years, we cannot sleep with our two eyes closed. Nigerians are yearning for that period to come back 
that period when this economy will grow, when we will have a secured environment for investments to begin to flourish. And that expectation is for all of us seated in this room. We can only achieve that if we put this party first, regardless of whether it is King's Lichinda that is flying the flag, or one Wolofi, or another Abdul Samad Azuki. It should not matter to us. We should work to ensure that PDP comes out victorious. And that the House of Representative Caucus is set out to achieve. Again, we are excited that the political activities has been started. We wish our party the best. We want to ensure that we go back to the Asso Villa at the end of the day. And therefore, we we'll pray that God will give us more of selflessness and a little bit less of selfishness. On this note, let me say that we are praying for a greater Nigeria in the House of Representatives and we are ready to lead the opposition and take us back to the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria, long live the People's Democratic Party, and long live the House of Representative Congress. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, distinguished like members, it's time to hear from our performing governors. I invite the chairman of PDP Governors Forum, His Excellency Senator Paula Mohamed Siwen. In the name of God, the most beneficent, the most massive. Excellency, the international chairman of our party, the chairman of the both DOT, the most respected members of the NWs, my colleague governors that are here, your excellencies, the two former vice presidents, and other distinguished members of NEC, members of the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Like my colleagues from the other organs, I rise to bring you facilitations and compliments from the Nigerian Governance Forum, the PDP chapter. We in the PDP Governance Forum we are united and of course we are very thankful and showing gratitude to God and to this very important party, this association that has given us the opportunity to loosen and actualize our various aspirations. The governors of the PDP are united and poised to give support to all the organs so that they can perform their constitutional functions. And that we have decided that at no time we we'll leave the organs of the party feeling despondent what we want. We have been working as seriously to make sure that all the all seasons elections have been well funded and of course the working committee is working. And we are solely, solely behind the current leadership of the PDP at the National Working Committee level and the POT. We really appreciate their performance and we reckon and recognize that especially the POT we have an array of experience and assessment who can really liberate of their resources and human capital to take us to the uh, where we want to be as a nation. We also recognize that all eyes are on PDP, especially with the governors, and we are poised to bring peer mechanism, peer review mechanism, so that we will bring good governance, which will be diametrically, diametrically opposed to what is happening in the APC. We want to make sure that we make you proud and bring good governance in all applications. And with all humility and modesty, you recognize that my bosses, the governors, are doing very well. And I think they need an applause. Having <laughs> said that, we know we have suffered as a party. 
of presidential candidates suffered injustice, and some of the gubernatorial candidates suffered injustice. At so many levels, we have legal infractions. But certainly, it is not for us to bring rancor and division within the party. We recognize there are some gaps in the leadership recruitment and in aspirations outside the lingering perception and of course the strategy of our detractors who are lingering and waiting somewhere to see us improve or explode. Definitely, I must appreciate members of caucus and members of the BOT that we have had meeting with and now the next that we will not give our detractors the opportunity to see what they want, creation of faction and passion. PDP is too much for that. We appreciate the opportunity Nigerians have given us and we are going to work with modesty and humility with little resources to take us to the higher heights that PDP is known for. My colleagues have already explained that during our tenure at the center, we brought all the legacies that you can see Reminiscences of good governance here and there, but this is not there. But it's not just for us to sit down and allow Nigeria to wallow in, in hardship and in melancholy. We have to really establish the framework so that we can take them to the next level or the place where they want to be rescued from hunger, poverty, and want. We thank you most sincerely for giving us the opportunity and we challenge we need to enhance communication and remove gaps so that there wouldn't be any sense of mistrust and suspicion between us, which is the ones of the day. We believe that with the points of the National Working Committee and BOT to do that, our elders, the BOT members and other members of NEC will continue to give the support and give the leadership of the party the benefit of doubt so that at the end of the day, we will be able to unify the party I'm moving forward. Thank you very much. Officially take accreditation. Honorable Captain Baturi. 